My name is Susan and I'm 20 years old. Today I'll talk to you about something that had me traumatized for a while. The size of my boobs. Truth is that although I'm saying I was traumatized, it'd be more accurate to say that I was forced to be traumatized. I know, it's a bit confusing, I'll try to explain. I've been taking rhythmic gymnastic classes since I was 3 years old. Truth is, I was very good at it and for a while I started to dedicate more and more hours to it. So much so that it became my life's focus. I was on a special diet and trained very hard and because of that I was a very skinny girl. I started to grow up and I noticed that my body looked different to the bodies of the other girls my age. At first I didn't care about that, I was happy, dancing and competing and to me it was never an issue that my body was growing up at a different pace. However, when I started high school, comparisons started to get really annoying. When I was a freshman, I noticed girls whispering about me. We all focus more on other people's bodies, so I became the center of attention for being too skinny, while some other girls became the center of attention for being overweight. And that's not too terrible, but in the second year, everything went downhill, as that's when the direct insults and the humiliation started. They affected me so much that I ended up using only loose clothes. And doing something as innocent as that gave them even more ammunition to use against me. You think that just because you're using a loser shirt you look prettier? <laughs> I had to listen to comments like that every single day. My self-esteem was getting lower and I ended up quitting rhythmic gymnastics. My parents got very worried when they heard the news and I tried to convince them that I was just too tired with the sacrifice that came with all the training and competing. Everything got worse and worse and I ended up falling for the trap set up by my bullies. After the summer break in my junior year, I decided to stuff my bra with socks so people would think that my breasts had got bigger. When I got to school, the comments were just horrible. I thought they would finally leave me alone, but nope. Plus, I found out the next day we were all going on a field trip to the water park. Everybody would find out I was lying and it was gonna be a lot worse. I couldn't take it anymore. When I got home, I told my mother everything, that I had been suffering for years because of all the bullying at school, that I quit rhythmic gymnastics for that reason, and also the thing about the socks. She started crying for not having realized what was going on with me. I felt terrible seeing her like that. She was suffering as much as me. And after that, I swore to myself that I would finally stop letting others ruin my life and dreams. The next day, I went to school determined to make justice. When we all arrived at the water park, I noticed how everyone was checking me out and I knew they wouldn't stop until seeing me in a swimsuit. So I went to my teacher, told her I wanted to show her something and asked her to please hide and observe me from a distance. She followed along and then I carried out the rest of my plan. I started to take off my clothes. I had my socks very well placed in my bra, so if you were to look at me from a distance, they could pass for real ones. Everyone was looking at me and the laughing didn't take long to appear. Wow, you've gone from being an ironing board to a roller coaster. I bet it's because of how much you make us laugh, huh? There, I had had it. I took the socks out of my bra and threw them at her. They were laughing at me, but I was happy. I finally felt free to express all the damage and suffering they had caused me. Words were coming out of my mouth non-stop and their laughter slowly turned into open mouths. And those mouths were even more open when the teacher came out of her hiding spot. She heard all of the insults and my entire story. She gave them all a great lecture and she was going to inform their parents plus expel them. Bullying sucks. Does your life suck as well and you want to share it with us? Send us your story to storiesmylifesucks at gmail.com and don't forget to follow us on social media to find out if you are the protagonist of our next video.